as promised, we are doing wood fired pizza today for the cooking with Charlie. Uh, so I've already got my charcoal started. As you can see, I've already got some other charcoal wrapped around in there. Because from what I've learned is you really want to get a good hot fire to last to cook for about a good five, six pizzas. If you just use the chimney and some wood chunks, you're going to get about two pizzas out of it. So today we're going to do probably about six pizzas just to have a good fun day with it for the big 4th of July weekend. So we got extra charcoal in there. We're going to throw some extra wood in there. So I'm going to dump the charcoal. I'm going to make sure I keep my charcoal on the outside perimeter, just over the top of the charcoal that hasn't been started. That way I'll keep starting and keep cooking the whole way through. And this, this is hot, so it's good to have a good pair of uh, hot gloves for it. The other trick that I've learned to this pizza stone, because we're going to use the kettle pizza for Weber drill grills, is to put your grate on the inside where there's some bolts sticking out. That way it lifts it up, and as you can see, it's up above the lip of this thing. And we're gonna stick this up on top. Let's get that out of the way. And this will just sit down inside. And as you can see, I got my grill grate underneath it. We're all set. And as you can see, I've got my grill grate upside down. And mine full collapses are in. This way, I can stick wood in there as I'm ready to go. And if I need to add more heat, I just grab some more wood, throw it in there. Now I'm going to take this pizza stone, and I'm going to put it right up top, and I'm going to kind of keep it towards the center, towards the front of it. That way when it's heating up, it won't crack my stone. And make sure you get a good, thick pizza stone with this. If you use a small, slim one, it will crack. So make sure you get a good thick pizza stone that can with handle the heat and get it going. Now we're just going to get some wood chunks on there. Spread those around the back. Those going up there. Put our lid on top of it. And as you can see, it's got a little thermostat on it. It goes up to about a good pizza cooking. It's about six to 700 degrees. Since we're cooking so many pizzas today, we want to get it to a good, like, 700-ish degrees. That pizza stone will get warmed up in about 15 minutes, and we'll be ready to cook some pizza. <laughs> all right, everybody, so we got our pizza dough all laid out. I got some semolina flour on the uh, breaded cutting board here, so we are going to take a little bit of this sauce. And just to give you guys a heads up, if you're going to make some pizza dough, awesome. Have fun with it. I am terrible at making it. I've tried making it a hundred times, can't make it. The best place to go get your pizza dough is from your local pizza joint. I got mine from Hag's Pizza down in Newport, Minnesota. He makes the best pizza. He gave me some sauce, some dough. Awesome guy, awesome pizza. He's got great zip to his, uh, to his sauce and his pizza dough comes out absolutely amazing. And all you're gonna do is take some of Hag's Pizza from Newport and just put it on the center Whip it out around it. Just kind of get it around get back, to the edges. Get it close to the edge. You don't want it all the way to the edge because it will boil over. And once you boil over and get it onto your pizza stone, then you're going to have some sticking problems with the next pizzas. So be nice about it. Get it close to the middle. And that's about as much sauce as I want to use. And this is some good zesty sauce. Love this place. This is the best. If I'm not making my own pizza, I'm definitely getting it from Hag's Pizza for sure. So, all right. So now I want some sausage. I love sausage on oh, my that pizza. Is that so is I'm going to put a few clumps on there. I'm going to put some onion on there because you guys know that I like my onion. I like them. And I'm going to throw a little bit of jalapeno on there too just because I like a little spiciness. Let's get that on there. Then I'm going to grab some cheese. I'm going to sprinkle that on there. This is some good fresh grated mozzarella cheese. Mm. Alright, make sure everything's kind of off the edges. You don't want to boil it over, like I said. Alright, that's it. That's a pizza. And we'll get it on the wood fire oven here in about two seconds. Meal in here. 
I'm gonna throw a little bit on the pizza stone. That way it helps get the pizza sliding down. Throw that off to the side. And we're gonna take this. Gonna slide it right on in. Make sure you get it in about the center of the pizza oven. And we're gonna let it sit for about one minute. And we're gonna turn it. Look at that flame going in there. Isn't that looking like a good wood flare pizza? My gosh, get ready. All right, everybody, so we got this thing. It's already been in there about a minute and a half. I've been yelling at my camera guy to get back here. We've got it already golden brown. I've already turned it. And look at this pizza. Look at that thing. It's looking real good. So all I want to do now is I want to get a little golden brown on the, on the cheese top. The crust is done. So I'm going to do is I got my, my pizza slider in there. I'm going to raise it up a little bit because all my heat's on the top of this dome. Now all I'm doing is cooking this, cooking this cheese for about 30 seconds. It's almost like putting it out of broil. I bring it out and look at that. All right, let's bring it over to the cutting board. Listen to this crust. That is some dark, decent, crispy crust. We'll give it a slice. Now, I don't, I don't know, this is going to be hot, but i got to take a bite of it. <laughs> Ooh. Look at this cheesiness going off of it. Look at the bottom of that crust. And this literally took about three minutes to cook. Is it hot? Charlie, is it hot? It's a good pizza right there, I'll tell you. That's some good crust from Hag's Newport Pizza. Some good sauce from Hag's Newport Pizza. Can't beat it. That's a good pizza right there, guys. Now, you guys go out and get one of these. Try it. It is awesome. Have a good time.